in terms of getting a feel of it, um, for all these sort of channels and for content producers, they can for free get a login on our website and play with some videos and see if they want to monetize their content. For home users, we for the near future plan to keep the Stanford website up and running so that home users can just come there, maybe place a picture and all, we basically separate the commercial aspects of the technology from like the fun aspects of the of a home user using it for their images or their own personal videos. You talked about an example where a college student might want to have a poster of Albert Einstein for for sending a video to their parents and a, uh, something exactly. else something else for their friends. Yes. Uh, just uh, uh, talk now about the the commercialization. Do you have a company yet? Are you doing this all yourself? Are you working with other graduate students? What's the what's the structure of the Zunavision uh, uh, commercial enterprise right now? So we have been officially incorporated as a company, and we have some seed funding from some nice investors who've been very supportive. And um, in terms of team, we're in the process of setting up a very nice team. We have some nice technical people and some business development people joining us, and we're sort of making a very nice team around this idea so that we can sort of utilize this and sort of uh, commercialize this in the correct way. Right. Can you talk about what, what your vision is of how it's going to be commercialized? Or are, are, uh, will MySpace or Blip TV come to you and say, we've got 10,000 videos, we'd like to put stuff in? Or yeah. do advertisers come to you and say, we'd like to find videos? How are you going to be uh, uh, arbitraging the, the connection between the advertisers and the content producers? So it sort of has to be like um, a meeting or we have to sort of make a, like a meeting place where an advertiser can sort of connect with content, whether it is on XYZ website, whether it's on a MySpace or a YouTube. So uh, the grand vision sort of the, of the future is that, let's suppose whenever a content producer makes a video, very similar to now when somebody makes a website, they mark a space in the HTML code where they say, I want some advertisements in the form of a banner or, a, um, or Google AdSense to show up here. So when a website is hosted, uh, the ads automatically show up at that, at that spot. So imagine the future, the very near future, people uh, make their videos ad friendly, like they make their websites ad friendly. So if somebody marks a spot within their video and that video then becomes ad friendly, which then enables them to monetize it irrespective of the website it goes on to. And advertisers come to the website and they say buy, uh, buy ads within videos based on tags, based on content. So it becomes a very powerful video AdSense mechanism. So in fact, what's going to happen then, if I understand what you've just said correctly, people aren't going to put uh, a particular uh, ad on their video. They're going to put a they're going to put an opening, a spot, a reserved area mm -hmm. that you're going to be able to feed the videos into, and you'll be able to sell the advertise sell the advertisers on buying that space. Is that what exactly. you just said? Exactly. That is. Yep. You got okay. that right. Okay. All right. And and so more specifically, uh, how are you going to uh, manage the the assignment of these uh, 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 ad insertion spaces in the videos? Will people send them to you? Will you give them a, a software package to assign them? How is that going to work uh, administratively and commercially? So again, drawing very heavily from the Google AdSense model, now when somebody wants to monetize a website, they just say, my website is ready to be monetized, and they place specific tags in the exact same way. When somebody makes a video, they come to our website, they upload the video very quickly, and they just mark the zone. So they basically, uh, with their video, attaches some sort of information, some sort of meta information that is um, that's defining what sort of spots are available, how big the spots are, how, how what's the duration of the visibility of a spot. And after that, uh, they place it on whichever website and then it can be monetized from that point on. The advertiser can just then monetize them based on the tags of the video or if they really like that particular content. They can buy ads, let's say like a more conventional sort of a media buy in which they say, I want my ad to show up here in the next 10 videos. So a combination of tag-based things, combination of search-based keywords, and um, and basically conventional media buys. So so you're so the advertisers will be able to say, I I want to be on videos that have cute puppies on them, for example. Sure, and, sure. And yeah. you'll have meta tags about cute puppies, and they'll have the essentially the cute puppy network, and and they can put their ads in in, in into a range of cute puppy videos. Yep, like dog food. If somebody has a, like a, right. is making dog food, they can just place it there. So it can be like post product, post production product placement or sponsorship in a way. So okay. nobody has to take the pain of um, beforehand tying up with an advertiser, spending that time pre production, then putting that actual uh, physical creative like a billboard in the background of their video. They just right. have to make yeah. And 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 for the 
for the uh, content producers to make their inventory space available, will they then have will they upload this to a, to your site and and then use tools that you have there to to select the area where they want the ad to go and then that will enter into your inventory? Yeah, so uh, so they don't have to host. We are not a video hosting site. We just right. simply uh, take their video and provide them with some meta information about that video. That later on can be used on any sort of website, any sort of video hosting website, and then that can that information can be used by um, that website to sort of shove ads in there. Yeah. Right. Right. So so what people will get from the content creators will get from you is is code, or will will they get some sort of tag? How will how will the video be made insertable? Oh, so each video sort of has like a unique identity, and right. when that video is uploaded to let's say a video hosting website, that identity stays with that video. Right. So then when an advertiser wants to place an ad in there, they sort of they make one reference to our our hosting servers and see what sort of information is available tying to that unique identification of that video, and then they sort of merge that with their ad creatives and stream that while the video is being watched. Uh -huh. Okay, so so in other words, the purpose of the con for the content creator to upload it to you is to get a unique identification number for that video, and to get and for you to know where in the video the area for the insertion is, and then that yep. becomes your inventory. Yeah, so that, that our right? advertisers can then just basically right. buy those embeds. Yeah. Okay. Now, have you had any discussions with uh, big hosting sites about whether they're going to allow, encourage, or not care? about these ads being inserted with the money going to the uh, content creator and not to them? So it's like an ecosystem. If we have to work with, we have met with people that we would not like to name right now, but it's right. like when we are part of an ecosystem, we just can't survive with uh, working with a particular group in the ecosystem. So you right. work with all these groups and it becomes like a, a nice ecosystem where whatever is the gain, or in this case, the revenue is shared between the hosting website, the content producer and us. So it's a nice ecosystem. Okay, and that that's where the business development people will be making their contribution, presumably. Exactly, setting that that's up, where setting the that business up. development people come in and their okay. immense value comes in, yeah. What, what, what thought have you given to intellectual property rights? What kind of restrictions are you going to put, uh, or how are you going to make sure you're, you're not violating anyone's copyright or, or uh, IPR? Oh, you mean like if somebody wants to place an ad within a, sort of a copyrighted content? Right, exactly. Sure. So that same that sort of problem is like same problem that YouTube has. That um, so ultimately we don't become the video hosting website. Right. In a sense, we can even if it's a copyrighted video, somebody uploads it to our site and marks a zone in it. Right. At the end of it, to distribute it to the public in general, they have which when the real infringement happens is when people start seeing it. Right. So for the people to see it, it needs to be on a video hosting website. And the second it's uploaded to a video hosting website, then uh, it's sort of their responsibility to make sure no content on their website is copyrighted, irrespective right. of whether it's being monetized or not. Right. So, Got it. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, why don't you wrap up uh, by just talking a little bit about the the feelings you have about having accomplished this and what your expectations are going forward and what kind of timetable you see for the, for the rollout of the commercial uh, version of Zunavision. So so far, it's been very exciting from um, from a research and technology perspective that. We have built this core technology that can take any existing video and place content within it, be it um, static images, um, flash content, or whether it is uh, video content. So that's been very exciting up till now, and we've uh, got some recent re reasonable attention for that part of it. But now begins the more exciting phase of the company where we actually take this out and may push this out as a product and commercialize this. So it's very interesting to sort of work across the spectrum, meet people in this ecosystem, and make these deals happen. Um, the next step of is the, the next step is like the commercial website where we showcase everything we're doing and that goes out in like 10 days or so. And after that, I guess we're, we're running some campaigns that would hopefully also hit the uh, the headlines and we're, we're doing some studies and so a lot of stuff is going on, exciting stuff that we will be hoping to hit the the headlines soon and keep doing that. Okay. Do you want to give out the URL for the for the personal site and do you have the URL for the commercial site yet or do you want to give yep. that out later? Or yeah, what? our main URL will be uh, zunavision.com and that will also link to the, the home user website. So that's, that's the main website, easy to remember, is just zunavision.com. Okay, good. I want to thank you both uh, for your uh, work in developing this and for talking to us today on Utopia News. Great. Thank you so much, Mark, for having us. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.